Hello, and welcome back to History Videos for Kids. Today, we are going to be talking about the English Civil War and Oliver Cromwell. King James, the ruler of two countries, died. His heir, Charles, was the new ruler. Just like his father before him, Charles wasted no time in making the English very upset with him. He made many mistakes. His first was marrying a French princess. The beautiful princess was named Henrietta Maria, and it was said that she was a very lively girl, that she was Catholic. She had sworn to the Pope that she would do her best to spread the Catholic religion throughout England. The English people were terrified of Catholicism. As Charles made preparations for his coronation, he was concerned that if he did the customary parade, Puritans would cry out nasty words of insult. So he decided to float on a barge. When the coronation day rolled around, Henrietta refused to attend his coronation because it was a Protestant ceremony. His guards were trying to force her out of the room, so she just punched two holes in the window. They gave up and went without her. After that, Charles missed the barge and had to go on a small boat. As soon as he made it to the church, he tripped on the entrance. Then, as he was putting the coronation ring on his finger, one of the jewels fell out, never to be seen again. When the archbishop was telling the crowd to say, God save King Charles, no one heard, and so there was just awkward silence. At the end of his coronation, an earthquake came. As you can see, this was not a great start to Charles' reign. Charles followed in his father's footsteps, talking about how God made him king and that he did not need the help of anybody. Parliament, however, believed that they should make all the rules, so they did not give Charles the money he asked for, which of course made him mad. And so he sent the members of Parliament away. He ruled for 11 years, and all he had to show for it was mad Puritans and Scots and hardly any money. He made such a big mess that he had no choice but to beg Parliament to come back and give him money. Parliament met for eight years and was known as the Long Parliament. At first, Parliament was focused on restricting Charles' power, but since they had Puritans and Catholics, they began talking about who was right and forgot altogether about Charles. Charles saw how much they were fighting, and so he gathered about 500 soldiers and brought them to Parliament. He planned on capturing the five Puritans, but when they got there, they were already gone because they had been warned. Charles muttered, The birds have flown. Charles had made a pretty big mistake. After Englishmen heard that he was willing to attack his own countrymen, they were disgusted with him, and many people renounced their loyalty to him. King Charles knew that an uproar was sure to happen, so he fled to his most loyal nobleman in northern England. Members of Parliament took Charles' spot and were controlling London. It wasn't too long until a civil war erupted. People loyal to Charles were called Cavaliers, and the people against him were called Roundheads because of their interesting haircuts. The Roundheads built a powerful army with the best training tactics and weapons. The Roundheads were led by a dedicated Puritan named Oliver Cromwell. The Puritans, along with the Scots, prepared for battle. The Puritans told the Scotsmen that if they won the battle, they would be able to use their own prayer book. Cromwell won, and that was the end of Old King Charles. On January 30th, 1649, Charles was beheaded after spending a few months in prison. With Charles out of the picture, England had no monarchy. Parliament, now known as the Rump Parliament, announced that the country of England no longer had a monarchy, but a commonwealth. Now the people could choose who was their ruler by voting. Unfortunately, it did not start off right and Parliament never dissolved. So Oliver Cromwell and his friends determined that the government should be a group of men who were Puritans. Cromwell and his army marched into Parliament and forced them to dissolve. With them gone,
Cromwell made a new parliament that consisted of 139 men. Only six months after this, Cromwell was made the new King of England. Although he was titled Lord Protector of England, he still nonetheless acted as though he was king. Cromwell ordered his men to destroy churches that were too Catholic. He came up with several new laws. He thought that playing cards was sinful, so he made that illegal. In three short years, pretty much everyone hated him. Someone even wrote a little book encouraging people to kill him. But in 1658, Cromwell died from malaria. King Charles' son came back in 1660 on May 23rd, and England once again had a king. Well, that wraps up our presentation on the English Civil War and Oliver Cromwell. We hope you enjoyed this skit. See you next time.